<laughs> move around, you man. Can't move. You can't move, but oh. bro, I'm laughing, dude. This episode's gonna be atrocious. We can't be ourselves because it's gonna fall. This is because we use past paper books instead of a tripod. Oh. What, is, what is up, you guys? We're so far away. <laughs> We're so far. <laughs> Bro, don't no. touch the table, you'll Bro. drop the phone. Exactly, guys, we're not using a tripod, we're using a st- fat stack of books. Pass paper books. Pass paper books from like ONA levels. And and even I even see like fucking Hunger Games over there, bro. Oh yes. Yeah. Thank you, Suzanne Collins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, this episode's gonna be hopefully not a train wreck. We we we're working really hard on these episodes. Slima and I are for once in the same country. The two times this podcast, the name doesn't make sense anymore. Well, and just for these two weeks. Just for just for these two weeks. So we're shooting as many so this is the only in person episode we will be having of this season. So guys, it's a special one, it's just me and Salman solo. We're just gonna be chilling with you guys. Number one, thank you so much for getting us to how, however for many everything. subscribers, how, how, however many let's subscribers we it, have. Sog. All right, I've got a question. Let's jump into it. Huh? Is this episode one or episode seventy nine, or uh, seventy eight? I'm gonna call it seventy eight because I, I really want to organize it. I really want to know okay how many episodes we've done. However, we will have a separate playlist called season two. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay, all right. That means we have to make a playlist called season one, but very cool. Yeah, yeah, Salman, cool. get to get to fucking work, bro. We need to we Jesus. need to make a season okay, one. Okay, take season, it down, season take one, it down. season one play- playlist. But, but yeah, guys, this is season two, episode one, aka episode seventy eight. Yeah. But we're really excited. We've already actually started filming the next couple episodes for the season, yeah. and we have really exciting guests. We've got what? Can name any <laughs> founders of companies? Yeah, we got designers, more designers, designers, yeah. people who are actually doing stuff with their life. Yeah, unlike and unlike me and Salman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> so we're really excited. It's, yeah. And we've already recorded a couple, so yeah. like trust us, they're gonna be good. Trust us, they are good. But guys, let's let's fucking talk about the elephant in the room. Bitcoin, it's exploding. Uh, Have you all invested? What room are you in? Where this is where Bitcoin is the room. elephant in the room. It is the elephant in the room, bro. It's we're, trending. We're outside. The whole world is your room it, today. The, because Bitcoin is just that big. It's that big. Everybody notices it. It's it's just gone that that far up. Fun fact. Saad sold Bitcoin at 15k and it's now 30k. <laughs> yeah. I guy. bought I bought back in at 30k. I was like, yeah, bad move on my part. I sold on price, guys. Don't make the mistake I made. Do not sell at price. Look at the graph and look at the trends and then sell. Do not sell based on uh, an arbitrary number. Okay, but also, also. Mm. Based on when this episode comes out, yeah. you've either gained a ton of money or lost a ton of I've money. I've gained by then. a ton of money. So let's Definitely. see what happens. Definitely gained let's a ton of money. Let's see what Bitcoin's at when this comes out. Yeah, yeah. Right now it's at 30k. So 40, we'll 50. Let's 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 see where we go. Let's see where we go. But yeah, wh- wh- but wh- hey, why don't you invest? Why don't I you? want to. Yeah. I was googling it last night after you told me about yeah. it, and I probably will. I've got money to invest. You've got money to invest. Yeah. And I invest should, right I, now. I need to put some in Bitcoin, dude. Yeah. Invest right now. Like, okay, you, you can tell dude, me the no, numbers step later. One, tell me the numbers step later. Step one: yeah. I need a Russian digital account to invest in Pakistan. Step two: No, you Bitcoin. don't need. Don't you have an American bank bank account? Ah, uh, but I want a Russian. Just do that. I want a Russian digital account. What is it? that? What I is a know. Russian? I don't know. Account? Someone told me to get it. I'm gonna get it. All right. Okay. Okay. Fine. Whatever. That's how the world works, guys. Okay, guys. How was 2020 for you? Let us know in the comments. Below 2020 was really great to us. We we used time as effectively as possible given the circumstances. The I mean, real question is how is 2021 going to be? Yeah. Because I think everyone was just waiting for 2020 to end. Yeah. But is 2021 going to be just another train wreck? Yeah. Is it going to be more of the same? What I don't what I don't understand is that people expect their problems to end overnight just because the, another year rolled over. Dude, work on yourself. Like you know, have a proper plan of action instead of just partying on New Year's and then just getting back to the same old. Habits but, that you had in but, 2020. Let's let's think about 2020. Things that are going to change. We got a vaccine, so COVID's going to be less of a problem. We don't have to worry yeah. about old people dying anymore. Yeah. What else? We've got. What else do we have? We have the fact that you know Trump's no longer in office. That's going to hopefully be a bit better. Uh, uh may, we'll see. We'll see. Definitely. We'll see. We'll see. It can get worse. So we'll see. I'm I'm in it, Pakistan. I, I I just don't want another Obama. I, I guess it won't it won't matter to you, but don't. it definitely can't get worse for me. Yeah. So we'll see about that. Damn. And yeah, what else is what else I is going to happen? I think one trend we want to keep going yeah. is talking about new technology, right? Like Bitcoin, something yeah. we're passionate about. Saad, what do you think about folding phones? Dude, here's the thing: folding phones are cool, but I just don't see a folding phone in my pocket for the next few years, at least, because I, I just don't see the use for it right now. It's a really cool technology. There's going to be a, a lot of trial and errors. And S- Salman and I have discussed this before. Salman's the early adopter of new technology. I'm the guy who's in the middle or or, or on the late or on the later edge of the curve. So. Like, we've already discussed this. Like, I won't have a folding phone, but Salman really wants a folding phone. So, like, Dude, expand upon that. I got a new phone last year, and it is an amazing phone. Yeah. It's going to last me. 
I got it a year, two years ago almost. Two now, years ago, But it's yeah. going to last me a good one or two years. It's a one plus seven something. Yeah. Amazing phone. But the moment that phone dies, yeah. I'm getting a folding phone. Whatever the you're best actually, folding you're phone is actually getting time, a folding phone? Even if it costs like 2,000 bucks? Yes. Actually? Yes. Bro, it's bad move. I spend up 2,000 on crypto. <laughs> I mean, okay, a good phone costs 1,000 anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. But a folding phone costs 2,000. A little more, and I get something. Bro, not a little more. It's actually fucking double, bro. I can get two OnePlus. <laughs> the newest that's OnePlus. Fair. But I'm also hoping prices go down by then, right? Like, I'm giving it yeah. about two years, so we'll see. You're giving it two more years? No, I'm giving my phone two more years. Two more <laughs> years. So, yeah. yeah, by then, prices will have gone down. It will have become more mainstream. Yeah, so basically, in a year and a half, when they mm-hmm. announce a new folding phone, I'll just go ahead and buy it. Cause of which company? I've, Any company? You don't mind? I mean, dude, the only folding phone right now is Samsung that's worth buying, right? Yeah. Like, Motorola yeah. had one, but that was That was, that was pretty ass. Right. That was pretty Samsung ass. released a flip phone that's folding. The same yeah. as Motorola is. Yeah. I really want... The one that opens, the one like that a opens book? up like a book? Yeah, because then you Why not the flip phone? Why not the flip phone? Because like... a flip phone is your normal phone, mm. but it becomes smaller. A book yeah. phone is your normal phone, but yeah. it becomes bigger. But it's not really normal. It's a lot thinner. It's weird, bro. The form factor is really weird. I, I just have to get used to it, maybe. I mean, yeah, but, but think about it this way. You have a proper laptop in your pocket then, right? Because you can open it up halfway. You can use it with a keyboard. I mean, bro, but it's tiny as shit, bro. Like, bro, it's, it's the size of a tablet, right? It's the size of, like, an iPad mini it, it's It's a weird middle child between a tablet and a phone. It's, like, not really the size of a tablet, but, like, also... Not yeah, really a I phone mean, either. I use my phone it's a lot, weird... so it's it's something I definitely use. Mm. Yeah, I use my phone a lot too, but I'm a diehard Apple guy. <laughs> <laughs> they like, get rid of ports. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, okay, but when Apple releases yeah. their folding phone, would you buy it? Me? If, if it was if like, the, reasonably if, priced. If, it, if it's the only option, yes. If it was like the only, because right now they have like two or three options in the upper echelon, and where people can choose from. That is fair. Yeah. However, Apple is uh, iPhone 13 is suspected to have no ports at all. They're getting rid of the charging port. They're getting rid of the headphone Dude, jack. I don't, I don't like that. They're getting rid of everything, bro. You know, even when I want to transfer stuff to my laptop, yeah. I still plug in my phone. Exactly. It's just faster than anything else. I agree, bro. But, but, but what Apple is doing is that they want to be the guys at the forefront of everything. When they got rid of the headphone jack, everybody else followed. Bro, That's they, just marketing, they bro. Their, they got rid of their charger. That's just... Now they have MagSafe, bro. MagSafe is the wireless charging thing. Honestly... It's going to be exciting. Let's you know? see. Let's Phones see. Phones are going to be different. Guys, speaking of tech, electric cars, Pakistan, shukar, something where we don't have exorbitant taxes. <laughs> Guys, if you import a normal car over here, it costs two to three, like a, like a really good high-end sports car. It costs like two or three times the price of the car in just in taxes. So a base Carrera costs 300,000 pounds over here. Um, On the other hand, what, an e-tron is 100,000? An e-tron... 120,000? 100,000 dollars over here, an e-tron. And and guys, if that car had an engine, Samai and I were just talking about this, that thing would easily cost you about 200, 300,000 dollars. No joke. Way more. Way more. At least 300,000. Yeah, yeah, just for having an engine in it. So an e-tron in Pakistan... Acha bike wale. Okay. Electric bikes, that's... (laughs) Electric bikes, we need electric bikes. Yeah. But like, yeah, an e-tron in Pakistan would be... Is is a is a great buy, especially if you if you just roam around in the city. Again, oh yeah, for sure. Fast I mean, chargers. Also, also mm-hmm. people complain about the range. I've heard so many people say, "Oh, an e-tron can't go to Lahore." Yeah. A Porsche Taycan can't go to Lahore. Yeah, yeah. If you own any of those cars, you already own another car that yeah. goes to Lahore. <laughs> so don't you dare complain about. Yeah, it. yeah, true, true. Everybody, yeah, exactly. If, when you can buy a one and a half crore to two crore car, maybe even more. You already have a Civic sitting in the driveway. You already have a fucking Merc that you drive th- th- right, th- you, that you drive yeah, to so, your village so or something. So don't complain about range. Today. Exactly, exactly. Like it's the also zero maintenance fees, no oil changes, none of that shit. Oh yeah. No maintenance. You don't have to import parts. You don't you have know? to import anything because unless, you don't need parts. But if shit hits the fan, like a battery dies, then it's a big charge. Yeah, but they don't die that often, right? I know. Let's see, bro. E-trons are just new. Yeah, but like you have Teslas and all. Bro, sp- you have the bro. Nissan Leaf. You have cars that have been here for a while. And they work. You know, bro, someone we know, someone we know, someone you know, just just blew an entire blocks worth of electricity from an e-tron charger. Like that is very true. Yeah, happened. Like, yeah, that happened, happened yesterday, didn't it? It did happen yesterday. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Guys, apparently they grounded it. It didn't work. So Pakistan is very finicky when it comes to electricity. We've had load shedding all our lives. But also, once people start getting electric cars, there's yeah. going to be more pressure to fix, you know, exactly. our, in- our exactly. infrastructure. Exactly, exactly. I, and I'm really excited. Electric electric cars I'm for, but please don't kill off gasoline engines. I really want to experience those cars, like, properly when I can afford them and not just, like, I, look I back at them. That. But also, I yeah. hope gasoline cars become cheaper then. You know, used ones, when people start buying uh, electric I f- cars. I feel I feel like they'll hold their value because they'll become a- antiques and they'll, for the right buyer, they'll be, like, 
there'll be like that's the things fair. that people will buy and look back on. Nostalgia. That's fair. Nostalgia is going to be a big player. It's going to be a big, big player. But yeah, guys, I think this How much time do we be, have? Oh, I'm yeah, sure we... 12 minutes. 12 minutes? All right, we're going to give you fast. three more minutes of content, guys. <laughs> yeah. Three more minutes. Saad, how's your day been? It's been good, man. It's I don't care. Good. Think of a better question. <laughs> 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 Guys, I swear to God, I thought we would have hit tr- 15 minutes by this point. It's only been 12. I Dude, think we're talking fast. We're talking we're fast. Excited. We're excited. You, know, you guys are excited. There's going to be a ton more stuff like this. Yeah. If you like the new topics we're talking about, let us know. If you have ideas, let us know. That's doing my work please for me. Please hit the like and subscribe button, yeah. Yeah, if, if you, you made it if this you far. If you made it this far. Yeah, please hit, hit the that like and subscribe yeah. button. The notify button, the, the, the thing with the bell. Dude, Salman, you don't even know those buttons. <laughs> but I mean... Like, yeah, it is what it Let is. Let me know if you hit them. Let me know if they work, you know. Yeah. You know, who knows. Guys, well, how do you think of our new set? This will not remain this, for long. It's one episode it's set. It's just one episode set. It's Man's Backyard. You know, you know look, look at what Shum's money buys you. Look at what <laughs> A tree. A tree. But yeah, guys, I think we're done. Saman? Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Peace. Peace. Adios. Adios. Goodbye. Goodbye.